tell you It's gone way too far No, nothing gonna help you When it falls apart The prophets and the preachers told you But you covered your ears And now the... Hi guys, this is Sebastian from Tech Century, the channel where I help you make the right purchasing decision. Welcome to my full review of the Geeko Mini IT11 Mini PC that absolutely blew me away the past couple of weeks that I can't wait to show you. At approximately half the size of an Apple Mac Mini, this machine not only offers an Intel Core i7 processor, but also a good cooling system, a ton of ports, and best of all, despite its small size, it's even upgradable in a bunch of ways. To get started, let's take a closer look at the key specifications of this machine. It features an 11th gen Intel Core i7 1139H quad-core processor, Intel Iris Xe integrated graphics, a 512GB PCIe-based SSD, 16GB of dual-channel DDR4 memory, as well as Wi-Fi 6 and Bluetooth 5.2. As an operating system, Windows 11 Pro is pre-installed. Moving on to the price and availability, the Geekcom Mini IT11 is available in a variety of configurations with prices ranging from $450 to around $750 for the configuration that I have here. As usual, you can find my affiliate links below. If you like this video, please make sure to give it a like as well as also subscribe to the channel for more videos. First, let's take a closer look at the unboxing and I want to give Geekcom really credit for the packaging of the IT11 because I think it looks really sweet and when it comes to design and packaging, as a geek, I'm really into that. On the front, we see the mini IT11 branding. On the side, we see the back with the wide variety of ports. On the opposite side, we see the different processors options available here, ranging from a Core i5 to Core i7 processor, as well as the Iris Xe branding. Diving inside of the box, we see the IT11 first, but we'll have to check it out later and take a look at the accessories first. And there we get a little thank you letter for purchasing this device. Next, a power cable, of course, for your respective country that you're based in. And the other half, the external power supply with around 65 watts of output. We also have a rather short HDMI cable, screws, a short manual and a mounting plate to mount this machine to the visa mount on the back of your monitor so you don't even have to place this machine on your desk at all. You can completely hide it out of sight. Moving on to the hardware overview and I.O. Despite its small size, the IT11 offers a wide variety of inputs and outputs. On the front we have an LED status indicator light that lights up blue, a USB 4 USB Type-C port, a USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type-A port, an aux, headphones or speaker output and the on and off switch. On the right side of the machine we then find the Kensington lock and on the left side a full size SD card reader which I'm a big fan of because it makes importing videos as well as photos of course much easier than if you would have to use an adapter. On the back is then where we see most of the ports. We have the DC in, a mini display port out, Ethernet, two USB 3.2 Gen 2 Type A ports, one USB 4 Type C port, and an HDMI output. While being smaller than most competitors, the IT11 is surprisingly upgradable, which is awesome. We have a 2.5 inch bay to add an additional HDD or SSD with a capacity of up to 2 terabytes. The DDR4 memory can be upgraded to 64 gigabytes and the PCIe SSD can be replaced with one that has capacity of up to 2 terabytes. The overall design and build quality of the IT11 are great and it fits well basically in any environment. The machine is incredibly small and I still can't get over how upgradable it is and how many ports it offers despite its size. There are many machines that are twice or three times the size that for example don't have an SD card slot and I'm a big fan of um, Geekcom being able to integrate all of this into such a small form factor. Moving on to the performance and overall experience with its Intel Core i7 processor, 16GB of DDR4 memory and fast 512GB SSD, the performance of the IT11 is more than enough for any everyday task like web browsing, watching 4K videos, office work and more. 
overall the system always felt responsive and snappy and I personally couldn't bring it to his knees with a regular task and I personally also experienced Windows 11 for the very first time here on this machine and to me it felt like the OS and hardware are a really great match. Diving into more hardware texting tasks, the IT11 was also able to handle light 1080p video editing in CapCut without any issues, which is awesome. Moving on to gaming, as a big fan of strategy games, I was also very curious to see how the IT11 would handle games like City Skylines, NO1800 or Planet Coaster, and what shall I say, I was surprised once more that I could play NO1800 on high to ultra high settings at 1080p resolution without the IT11 even spinning up its fans or even getting warm, which stresses just how good the cooling system is despite its small size. Overall, I can just say that I absolutely love the fact that thanks to the IT11, I'm able to play some of my favorite strategy games ever again, while at the same time taking up almost no space at all on my desk and also being quiet. So now it's time for my verdict. And to say that the Geekom IT11 has exceeded my expectations would be an absolute understatement. The machine has absolutely blown my mind when it comes to build, connectivity, performance, cooling and upgradability. For the price of around 750 US dollars, this is a machine that I can fully recommend when you're looking for a compact machine that can handle way more than you would expect. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. And also if you have any suggestions on what product I should uh, test next, also leave them down there. And I really hope to see you next time. <laughs>